Right, hello there. This is Diego Tejeda, keyboard player for Haken, and we are in Vienna tonight doing a show. And I thought I would explain my, my rig to my synth anatomy guys. I'm going to start here with this core of my rig and the core of my sounds, and then I'll explain the rest of it. As you can see, it's a quite modest rig, but I've got quite a lot of stuff going on and quite different. So, I mean, the core of my rig is main stage. I do everything on main stage, like uh, even though I use external synths, uh, most of my stuff has been changed and directed by main stage. So even though I have my um, hardware synthesizer here and another couple of there, everything comes here. So all the MIDI goes inside the main stage uh, core and then it's been sent to either the sounds inside main stage or my external synthesizers. So. Um, I've got like, you know, as you can see, four different uh, keyboards on stage, which I will explain in a minute, but basically this is resembling my rig in the real world. Um, so it's really cool. Uh, as you can see, I'm trying to recreate all I have. So uh, this would be my virtual recreation of my APC40 I have over here, which is a very handy thing. I'm gonna go in depth in a minute, but this is what I use basically to change sounds and I just assign my knobs to whatever I needed to, uh, filters, volume, effects, all sorts of stuff. Also, I have a very handy button here, which is the stop button, which is my panic button. So if for, by, for any reason I get a sticky note, I can just go to the stop button and it's my panic. So it resets everything, which is very handy. Um, and this is my master level, and I use these faders like according to the sound I have. I'll explain this one, this one's in a minute. I use them as a sampler pad, so to speak. Um, so going back to the sound source, as I, as I was explaining, some of my sounds coming from main stage, and the other part, and very important part of my rig, is the Integra 7 by Roland. It's a great, great rack unit. It's really, really powerful, especially because you can have 16 different parts on 16 different channels. All of those parts with a individual uh, volume, individual effects, insert effects, and send effects, which is very, very powerful, especially when you combine it with main stage. Uh, you can create like really, really thick layers combining the sounds from main stage and any of the channels you have on the Integra 7. All of that is getting mixed on my line mixer is a Samsung SM10, which is a great, great, great mixer. Uh, I'll explain what I have going on through this, but at the moment I'm just explaining you know, the sounds coming from main stage and the uh, uh, Samsung SM10. Now, moving on here, this is my iPad, which uh, I use a lot of stuff going on. I mean, uh, people are probably gonna see me going here to play a couple of solos. This is GeoShred, it's uh, by Mo Forte and Wisdom Music. You probably have seen it by Jordan. Jordan has like, been doing a lot of videos about it. And it's just a great application, I mean. All that kind of stuff I'm doing. And it's just a great tool for sound design as well. Um, and it is, uh, very ambient type of sound, which is really, really cool. I love, I love this app so much. But that's not the only thing I use my iPad for. Um, I also have, the second important thing I use here is the X32 Mix app, which I use to control my uh, in-ear monitors uh, mix. So if by any reason my mix is not how I want it, I can just go and just change whatever is needed. If I need more guitar, if I need more vocals, if I need a bit more Ross, I can always come here and just change whatever I need on my mix on the fly. So I don't have to rely on a monitor engineer. I can be my, mo my own monitor engineer. And the best part of it, at the end of the show, I can just save the scene and the next day I'll have exactly the same mix I had the night before, which is really handy, especially when you're on tour, you wanna have the same mix every night. Now, I also use uh, this great app called the TC11 which is a great synthesizer. You know, it's for like sound designs and it's just really cool. You get really interesting sounds. Also, the visuals are really, really hypnotic. I love them. Um, and obviously, Movwiz by Wizard Music, which I use. And I absolutely love. So you'll see me going through and change the apps during the show. Uh, but mostly, I mean, the, the, the one I use the most is the GeoShred. Now, Can you uh, explain our friends of iPad users, how do you connect your iPad now on stage? Is there a standard, with mm. standard ki kinch or yeah. how do you work? I mean, I, I, I would love to incorporate at some point the MIDI capabilities of the iPad with mainstage, but at the moment, not all the apps 
can receive uh, MIDI. So at the moment I have it as an external thing, which for me, I mean, it's a little bit of an inconvenience. I would love to have, you know, change my sounds as I change a, pa a main switch pan to change the sounds or the app I'm using inside uh, my iPad. So at the moment, everything is kind of like a third party uh, synthesizer I'm doing. So that, that's the one I'm actually going through and change the patches manually. In terms of the, the line and the sound, it's just going through the uh, ordinary headphones uh, out, which is a really, really solid uh, out. I mean, there's no noise, it's very quiet. It goes into my mixer. So I believe that's channel uh, three and four. And it's, a, it's just a great, great thing. I mean, I've never had any problems with that. I will never think of doing this with a computer, for instance, because the sound will be like really noisy with digital noise. But in this case, it's not needed. I've got, I've got my, uh, my line and it's really good. Now, moving on, I mean, just I've got like USB hub here. I just always here, like I've got all my uh, all my MIDI control world happening over here. Um, this is my master controller. I use whatever master controller I have available. To be honest, I'm not very happy about this master controller, but that's the one I have in the UK. Uh, people who don't know, I. I have three rigs, one in the UK, one in the US, and one in Mexico. So every time I upgrade my rig, I need to upgrade, upgrade it three times. So this one is probably going to be the last, the last tour I do with it. Is uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to upgrade for the uh, Akai MPK88, which I love, but unfortunately it's been discontinued in, in Europe. So I'm gonna have to ship it over from, from the US. Uh, but as I said, it's just all the MIDI standard. This is generic, I can use any, any MIDI controller, master controller, which is very convenient for me because if I'm flying to a show, I don't have to bring my master controller with me. I can just like get a promoter to do it for me and it's just really good. Um, then I have uh, the X key by CME. Yeah, and it's just absolutely brilliant. Uh, I use this especially for like the sections I want it to be like a bit more synthy sound that I don't necessarily need all the uh, you know the velocity sensitivity I need or all the uh, aftertouch. Even though this is great to recreate that, I find you know I can, I can play a bit more um, there you go. with that kind of like synthesized, uh, quantized sort of sound. I mean, so, no, I mean this, this is really, really fun to, to play those kind of lines on, on this one. Um, then uh, the seaboard, which has changed the way I think about music. I mean, I absolutely love it to bits. Uh, I've been using it for over a year now, and I've been using it more and more every time. And it's just a great tool to have. I mean, I could spend the whole a whole hour talking about how much I use this thing, uh, but you know, just to keep it simple, you know, I use it for you know this. Uh... Yeah, that kind of stuff, like when I'm doing raves. Uh... It's just really easy to do this kind of thing. So it's just lovely. I mean, instead of doing this on, on a normal keyboard, which is a little bit more difficult, you can do this here. It's really, really good, really responsive and very expressive tool. So I completely love the Seaboard. I use it a lot and I want to use it even more on, on the show. Now we move to uh, the APC40 which uh, is kind of my control station. As I said, I try to make my rig as, as kind of portable as possible. So that's why I don't really need a specific keyboard master controller. As long as it has a pitch wheel and a modulation wheel, I'm fine because for all the controls, I use these. So all these knobs and all the buttons and the faders, I use them for like the, any specific sound. I mean, so I'm controlling that on, 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 on main stage. Um, I said I was gonna explain the way I use this pad, so I basically use them as a sample pad inside main stage. So, uh, like. You know, that kind of thing. So I have my samples here, which I sam samples I recorded for the album, but it's a completely different sort of vibe. Instead of, you know, be playing that, it's got more of an electronic vibe sometimes, so I want to have have the same samples I used when I recorded it. So I just bounce out all my samples I did for the recordings, and I have them here, I've got my filters. 
So it's a really, really handy thing to have, especially because you know it's always there. You know, it's there. It, you don't have to change a keyboard or a sign or whatever. It's just always there, and you know you're going to have the same controls every time. And the new addition to my rig for this tool was the Mini Nova. I normally don't have it on my rig. I normally have it. I have it on this tool because we're doing a song called Red, uh, Red Giant, which when I recorded it, I recorded this like a electronic build up at the end, and. Um, I basically did some sound design, I recorded my vocals and auto-tuned it really drastically until they sounded like a synthesizer. And I had no idea how I'm going to do this live. Uh, so we decided to do this tune live and the best thing, I mean, I discovered this, this synthesizer has like a um, real-time auto-tune application. It's almost like a vocoder, but you actually um, uh, sing the note that you're playing. So you can actually, you know, use it as a normal auto-tuner. But you can do really interesting stuff. If I sing one octave lower, for instance. So you get really interesting results out of that. It's not like an ordinary vocoder. You actually like really stretch your vocals to get that exact pitch you're playing, which is great. So all of that is going to my, my um, the lines are going to my mixer and the pad changers are going through the USB MIDI interface it has got. So it's all been sent by uh, by a MIDI from main stage. And just to finish the start of the night, it's my, uh, guitar, the Vortex Collexis. This one's been like really, really badly battered. As you can see here, like last European tour we did, I left it next to a blinder and it just, it was burning hot. And I used it at the end of the show. And when I put it up at the end of the show, my fingers were literally like touching the melted plastic. So it was a hot gig to say the least. Um, I just use this one a couple of places, you know, I, I just love going on the front of the stage, you know, because a keyboard player, you're a bit restricted. So I love, you know, going uh, at the front of the stage and have a little jam with the guitar players. And it's just great. I mean, when I, whenever I have it assigned on main stage, I just turn it on and I know I'll get the sound I needed for that particular uh, patch. So uh, that's about it. Just the last bit of it is my, my uh, pedal. It's an FPV uh, Mark II by uh, Line 6. And this is just basically my, my foot switch stuff. I mean, I use this to change patches on main stage. So when I'm playing this, my normal sustain, I go here, change my patch, and have my expression pedal, which is really cool because it also has an extra switch. So that's great when I'm doing a lead, I'm doing a wah sound, I use the switch as a sustain because, you know, I either use the wah or the sustain when I'm doing the lead. So this is really cool. I can just like, um, let me just get a lead sound. There you go. So, you know, how my wah sign to this one. But, you know, if I press down, I can now get sustain. Switch it off, and that's it. And then I can go to the next patch, which is really good. And these two pot, uh, switches, I use them to switch on and off accordingly, like an effect, or if I'm locking a, an arpeggiator, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, they're multifunctionality, and they just work great for me. I mean, everything is just relative. I mean, all, all the buttons and the sliders I have change their meaning according to the patch. So that's okay. about it. Thank you, Diego. My pleasure.